you. Very proud of this jacket. And I'm very proud to be here. My name is Jeff Moriarty, and I really want to sincerely welcome all of you to Ignite Phoenix number 10. <laughs> Round of applause. Who has been to Ignite Phoenix before? <laughs> Who has been to three or more Ignites? <laughs> wow, okay. And who is here for the very, very first time? Wow. And very excited about it. I'm, I love to hear that. All right, so welcome. So, Ignite. It is a series of presentations. Each lasts five minutes, and no more than five minutes. Each of the presenters get 20 slides that auto advance. I'm not quite doing it Ignite style yet, but we'll get to that. Um, and these 18 presenters get to come up and share their ideas for those five minutes. Anyone can present, and I'm hoping many of you after this submit to talk at a future event. We had over 90 presentations, and the 18 people tonight were selected by a combination of past presenters and the Ignite crew to make the uh, show that you're about to see. Now, in addition to the presenters, um, each of you should have also received a uh, CD compilation of all local music. If you didn't applaud now, you're going to applaud when you listen to it, because this thing is awesome. Um, Ignite is really about the community, and it's about tying ideas together, connecting you to things that you didn't know were out there. And this is very much a part of that. There's incredible local music scene. We have two bands playing here tonight, and this is a compilation of some of that great music that hopefully all of you experience and can go out and then explore more on your own. Thank you. Now, for those of you especially who haven't been to an Ignite Phoenix before, Ignite is very much about the discussion. This isn't like a movie where you're going to go with a bunch of people but then sit there alone in the dark facing a screen. You should talk about the ideas that you see here. And part of that is going to be online while the event's going on. If you're using Twitter, the hashtag is IgnitePHX. If you haven't been to an event where you're going to see people online with their phones open, just be aware that that's happening. If you are participating in the online discussion, Please be um, courteous to the people who are not, and if you're not, just be aware that that's going on. <laughs> now, party like a stormtrooper. So, part of that discussion is going to continue both at intermission and afterwards. We encourage you to really meet new people. The programs that you have, absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Splinter. Um, make them into your little uh, devices there, and start conversations. We have food, drink, the music, stick around, talk to people, meet other people, and talk to the presenters as well. Now, Ignite, this is our anniversary in a couple different ways. It's the big 10, and it was almost three years ago that Ignite Phoenix number one uh, started in a conference room down in Phoenix. 80 people showed up, uh, mostly because I nagged them in some way, shape, or form. And I remember having no idea whether it was going to work, so stressed out about it, and as people were leaving, somebody said, wow, that was great, when's the second one? And I almost punched him in the face. <laughs> Had I known I would be doing number 10 three years later, I would have punched myself in the face. <laughs> but life takes us in strange and unexpected places. We have on our Ignite Phoenix uh, YouTube channel 183 videos. These videos have been viewed over 85,000 times by people all over the world. It more than a little blows my mind. Um, the people that come on this stage and share their passions are not only changing themselves and driving change in Phoenix, they're influencing people all over the world. This is the list of the people who've been on our stage before. And many of them are here tonight and have a special commemorative uh, badge. If you see them, ask them what they were talking about. Ask them what their connection is to Ignite. Ask them what their passion is. Explore, share with people, not just the ones that you see on the stage, but many of the presenters who have been here before. This is a list of the people who have worked on Ignite Phoenix since that first uh, conference room, Ignite number one. It wasn't even called Ignite number one because we didn't know there was going to be a number two. Ignite, the point of this slide is to emphasize that I do not put on Ignite Phoenix. A lot of people do. Ignite Phoenix is put on for the community, 
by the community, and all of these efforts have gone in to make Ignite what it is here tonight. Very well deserving of your applause, in my humble opinion. But now, to really get things into the five minute, 20 second format, the 10 people who put uh, the, the bulk, the sort of core crew in putting on Ignite 10, I asked each of them to come up with an idea. What about Ignite really drove their passion? What did they really care about? Why did they put this volunteer time into making this event happen? And we've combined that into an Ignite Phoenix presentation. So I would like to bring um, my other teammates out on stage and uh, thank you. So in celebration of Ignite Phoenix number 10, this is what Ignite Phoenix means to each of us. Vulnerability. It takes a powerful force to overcome the natural feeling of vulnerability when you're standing on a stage like this in front of 853 people. Now, having coached over 100 Ignite Phoenix presenters, I'm convinced that great passion comes when you're talking about something that you're truly passionate about. Our presenters are in luck. Arizona's most receptive and attentive audience is out there waiting for them right now. And you know what? Regardless of why you came here tonight, whether you're here to learn something new, connect with your community, or simply be entertained, we all have something in common. And that is the desire for a riveting experience. Ignite is an open forum where our presenters can provide just that. From local music to Icelandic necro pants, there is absolutely no passion too strong or interest too strange for our audiences. We bury ourselves under years of no and can't and shouldn't. And when I see people come to Ignite and throw off that self-doubt for the first time, it is amazing. Even if the explosion only happens on the inside, and even if we can't see the change, you know it's happening and it puts up a fight, and it is not going back in. And we want you to share it. Ignite exists to promote ideas that are exciting or compelling or need brought to the attention of the community. Your crazy little passion is something out there that somebody in here has been reaching for. Our purpose is to shine a spotlight on those who are doing things and build bridges in the community that allow ideas and passions to flourish. We want to help you reach out and connect with the ideas you hear at Ignite and the people who said them. And I've been inspired while sitting at the audience listening to 18 people enthusiastically share their interests, something they're passionate about, with me and a growing group of individuals who might be hearing about this topic for the very first time. It's a collective experience of seeing and hearing and learning about something outside of our world, our own experiences and knowledge that becomes a shared appreciation for that topic that someone else really enjoys. We are constantly confronted with mixed messages about who we should be, what we should like, and what we really should be doing with our lives. Those can quite literally become obstacles, making it difficult to know you and to connect with others like you. My first Ignite was a revelation. Here were people sharing their passions without reservation, <laughs> pushing past those messages and obstacles, and building communities of their own. And I thought, that could be me, but more importantly, that could be any of you. Ignite is less about what we do know and more about what we don't. It's the presentations that we recognize that get us to come to Ignite the first time, but it's those unfamiliar topics that get us to keep coming back. I became involved with Ignite to learn new things and to explore new ideas. Besides the presentations, I learned from the team, the volunteers, the vendors, and even the audience. Not only do we work on Ignite, but we learn from Ignite too. Doing an Ignite presentation requires a tremendous amount of personal confidence. It takes a lot to stand up here in front of you 
and do a presentation about something you feel passionate about. But you find that confidence because you want to share your passion. When you present at Ignite Phoenix and share your passion and really connect with people who support and understand that passion, you realize that you really can go anywhere and do anything with it. If it's just a hobby, you can turn it into a full-time gig. If it is your career, you can take it to the next level. Individuals and small groups of empowered people have changed the world. I learned from Ignite Phoenix that I have the power to change my world. My reach may never be as much as the people listed here, but I am the special person that can change someone's world. And the people of the past Ignite Phoenix and all of you at this Ignite Phoenix have the power to change the world. You each can be the one for someone. And if we engage our passions, the possibilities are amazing. And that's the incredible thing about Phoenix as a whole. This is a wild, crazy, vibrant city. Because every person on this stage and every person in this audience has one of these messages to share. And anyone who says that there's nothing going on in this town has no idea what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. Now, I need you to cheer, support, and respect the people who are going to get out here and share their ideas with you. And if you can give me a big round of applause, let's get Ignite Phoenix number 10 started.